Remember, this entire manga and every manga on this channel is hand-drawn by myself. And now you too can learn exactly how to make your own viral Dragon Ball mangas at www.makemanga.com where you can learn directly from me. My mangas have got me on TV, on newspapers and even earned me over $60,000 a month on Patreon alone. And now you can click the link in the description and pinned comment of this video and do it yourself. You only need to see the website to see just how many thousands of you are taking this opportunity right now. And don't forget also, the next video to this Ultra Vegito series has already been made and is live now on my Patreon right now for over 4,500 of you incredible fans to watch after this. Again, links are in the pinned comment and description. Enjoy. See the light! So our story continues with the brutal sight of Vegito the God Killer, slashing down his God Slayer blade, but with an all new appearance. Channeling the power of light, the fifth of the five strongest at the very last second. Taking on his complete pure positive energy form. Around him, now a dancing wave of dark putrid blood that rises up in slow motion from his victim. And as he would repost back, swiping his blade down completely, the demonic blood of his blade would ripple and splatter all in front of him. <laughs> Until eventually, finding its place on the God Killer's face. The red contrasting completely with his now blemishless white look. As laughing away with his signature giggle, Light Vegito would let out... Uh, Took me a while to figure out, but I knew I could do something like Gogeta's Stardust form somehow. Who would have thought one of these damn gods would actually come in clutch like this? Light, you finally got your time to shine. Light, that name! And finally, once we would see Devil Kazuya again, strangely, he would seem in one piece, though from his completely wide open shocked expression, all would not be okay. And it wouldn't just be because of his apparent recognition of the fifth of the five strongest. <sighs> no way! As apparently equally, mid Kamehameha, what Stardust Gogeta would be seeing would leave him just as shocked. His body almost frozen as he could hardly believe the sight before him. And soon enough, we would all know why. God killer! How is this possible? As in a stunning sight, the once impenetrable Unbreakable Devil Kazuya, former Devil of the Demon Realm and current Demon Emperor of Sector 2 would now be sliced clean in half. Right at an angle with his left arm severed in the process also and with his dark blood seeping away all the monster could do would be look down at his defeat. Now's my chance! And in a perfect fusion tag team, Gogeta would take advantage of the opening Vegito had so kindly made for him, sending one final wave of stardust energy forward with everything he had. And Kazuya would now then fall back swallowed. Unable to even fight back with his injuries, it would almost seem 
but he had already fallen unconscious. <laughs> but of course, it wouldn't be just Kazuya now in the line of sight, as Vegito too, in his light form, would be right behind, and almost completely enveloped by him. Keep going, Gogeta! Don't worry about me, kid! But surprisingly, with a smirk on his face, Light Vegito would seem to hardly care, standing still even, as eventually both him and what looks like a screaming Kazuya would be blasted to nothingness, ready for an ungodly detonation. And truly seismic it would be, as creating a gigantic explosion rising high into the sky, the result of the devastating Stardust Kamehameha would be clear, and it would be the strongest of its kind in history. <laughs> Vegito! No! And even the overweight Gogeta would be left covering himself from the aftermath still worrying and screaming out for the god killer. <gasps> Mag magnificent! And Black 2, in his new form, would be left in awe, as he too would need to shield himself. But in his shock and awe, internally, the merged warrior who contains Amasu would be thinking, these mortals, just how far can they go? This kind of power, it should not exist! But when all was said and done, at the end, only a smoking pile of mess would be seen left in a far off crater. Moving in closer, a lone mangled figure would be seen in the middle. <laughs> and of course, that figure would be the now completely incoherent, damaged to the bone and sliced in half, Kazuya Mishima. Now finally back in his original form, and this time not on purpose. And as we would now peer on at his face, scuffed and damaged all over, his eyes would be blank, almost as if having been singed off by Gogeta's attack, now leaving him blind. As muttering away, he would be saying, Jin, could you have saved me from this? But as he would be reflecting on his past life before the Ultra Vegito series, aptly, a foot would land beside his head, as with a somewhat small sign of defiance at the end, presumably detecting him by energy signature alone, the Mishima would whisper, You're here again, puppy. <laughs> That's big dog to you, demon as standing over him, now menacingly looking down, would be Vegito. Our Vegito, now back in his base form, suffering some damage from the blast with his clothes ripped, but with his mannerism as cold as ever, ready to finally make part of him the Devil Gene. As continuing on now with a more expected smile, the God Killer would let out. Looking at you now, it really is hard to believe you gave me as much trouble as you did. You weren't lying at all about the power you have, nor about your battle with Lucif. And now, all that strength, all that experience, it's all mine. Before now looking up with an excited grin, Vegito would then daydream. I can only imagine the final powerhouse that sits in Sector 1. The new devil, huh? That's all I need. 
who will I need to get my revenge on Lucif? Wrong. And wrong again. <laughs> As suddenly, using the last of his strength to upset Vegito in some way, Kazuya would seemingly dash the God Killer's hopes as the Saiyan would look on puzzled. But gargling away his last breaths, Kazuya would mutter, First of all, nothing, and I mean nothing, will prepare you for Lucif's true power. Losing to you like this, so pitifully. I know now, he was always just playing with me when we fought. And secondly, the current devil and the next and final demon emperor are not one in the same. You have no idea, puppy. What? That's... Uh... And this new information would seemingly immediately annoy Vegito, putting his goal of escaping the demon realm and helping his friends and family one step further away than he first thought. <laughs> That's just perfect! I'm not done having this kind of fun yet! That is until his internal lust for battle would take over, as with a huge smile, he would reveal his actual elation. And as he would begin moving his two fingers, a sudden change in the atmosphere around him would begin to occur, as he would add, More power is more power. One, two, or a hundred more of you freaks to add to my repertoire, it's all just good news to me, clown. <sighs> but let's not get ahead of ourselves. First things first. Welcome, Kazuya Mishima. As now raising his arm and dual fingers up in the air, there would be a sudden upwards pull in the vicinity around him. <coughs> and curiously, as this would happen, the once whispering Kazuya would begin groaning in pain over and over until... <coughs> turning into a blood-curdling scream, his entire body would become blush with red, like blood from within him was boiling. Giving credence to this, small blobs of blood would seem to escape from both his nose and eyes. And almost instantly, this loss of blood would progress to a truly horrific sight, as now, with blood forcefully seeping, from every crevice of his body, Kazuya's body would be physically drained of his actual life force. His blood being bended presumably with the use of Kenji's powers within Vegito. All rising into the air above the God Killer, forming a dark red ball of pure bodily fluid. Its mass huge, meaning only one thing. <laughs> that one thing being a truly lifeless husk of a corpse left on the ground where the great Kazuya once was. With no more sound nor breath, the entirety of the former devil would now be extracted by Vegito himself without even touching him. <laughs> And as Vegito would giggle away, the blood mass above him would now look more like a spirit bomb than anything else. As looking down at Kazuya's now dead corpse, he would say, You see this? 
This is what you had in you all this time. Guess you weren't full of crap after all. As now looking up with a smile, shadowed under its gigantic size, with a smirk, he would add, I could have absorbed you differently, but variety is the spice of life. And something tells me, this will leave me far more satisfied. Now come to me! Your power is mine! As now screaming out a command to the mass of blood, as if it was still Whis's staff, Vegito's yell would be glass shattering. But nevertheless, in a vulgar next panel, the blood would follow his orders and instantly travel straight into Vegito's mouth, swallowed up like a never-ending fountain of water. But ultimately, with the speed of Vegito's uptake, it would eventually end, as we would then see the last remnants of Kazuya's being becoming one with Vegito. What the hell? Vegito! Ugh! Disgusting mortal! Who is he? As both Gogeta and Black would then be left completely mortified with what they had been seeing. Stunned at the way in which Vegito would absorb his latest victim as they would both stare forward at the God Killer. With Vegito himself, now standing ominously still, his head ducked down, shadowed in the face, as he would not utter a single word. We would all just lie in anticipation until... <laughs> as delicious as I thought, Kazuya! As finally raising his head in a gruesome reveal, Vegito. Now with blood dripping from his mouth, as if having dove head first into a meal, would grin wildly. His eyes, now a duplicate of Kazuya's, with black and whites and red seraphim. <laughs> but it wouldn't take long for the crazed looking Saiyan to yell out in fury, unable to contain himself. As all around him, a humongous energy would emerge, his power up shaking the very foundation of Sector 2. Uh, what is he doing? Uh, the wind alone created by such a power up, blowing the fused warrior far away. His huge body not even able to create enough wind resistance to stop him. But eventually, at least, as Gogeta would reach the ground, he would skid back and stop himself, opening one eye cautiously wondering, Vegito, get a hold of yourself! What are you even... <laughs> Vegito! But as his vision would become clear, only a surprising sight would await him in reality. Where? Where did he go? As no longer in the spot where the initial power-up took place, the God Killer would seemingly have completely disappeared. Mortal? What do you think you're doing? <sighs> but soon enough, nearby Gogeta, a mystery voice would be heard in panic. <laughs> the voice coming from a certain Goku Black, with sweat over his face and a stunned expression, something would definitely be wrong. Vegito! What have you done? As in a shock reveal, Vegito would now be seen behind Black. And not just that, 
but with his arm completely run through the Kai's body in a bloody mess. As looking more demonic than ever, all the God Killer would let out would be... What's wrong? You weren't even doing anything before anyway. I'm just taking you back where you belong. <laughs> As suddenly, when we would get a closer view of Vegito, he would display yet another change. Now having his own third seraphim eye plastered on his forehead with a grin that still screams demon uh, no way that's just like leaving gogeta shell shocked as he immediately understands what is going on with every passing second vegeto losing more of himself and becoming more like the former devil Back where I belong? How dare you decide this for a guy? But meanwhile, Black, still seeing himself as far more than just a part of Vegito, would angrily grab onto the God Killer's hand and struggle to pull away. <laughs> Ultimately succeeding, as only seconds later, he would manage to escape and jump back. <laughs> you could have done this another way! By force if you wanted to! Why do this? As clutching now at his gaping wound in pain, even he would wonder why Vegito would even bother. <laughs> Why? It's because... It's because I forgot what you weak puppies tasted like! As in a shocking panel, Vegito would appear more like a demon than he had ever before, sticking out a lizard-like tongue to unthinkably lick the blood of black off his own glove, all while using the same terminology as Kazuya. Puppies! Vegito! Are you even still in there? And as the similarities would continue to come in hard and fast, Gogeta would be unable to not make comparisons within his mind, as it would seem, though Kazuya was dead, would be somehow still living on. Weak! Why you? You should have never been unchained! Allow me to change that! As suddenly, lifting out his arm, Black would unleash once again his mysterious portals to another realm. All around Vegito surrounding him, with the clinking sounds of metal clattering together beginning to be heard from within them. <laughs> ah, this technique. You did say you wanted to save this for me. And as the chains would come shooting out of their portals and wrap around Vegito instantly, around his neck, body and arms, curiously, the God Killer would just look up, seemingly unbothered, nor panicked in his expression. I did, but seems even if I had shown you before, a foolish mortal like you would still just as easily be caught. As now fully chained up and restrained, Black would confidently stand before Vegito now that he had stopped his random rampage. <laughs> Funny you would call us puppies. Yet you're the one chained up, doggy! <laughs> Leaving Black to now giggle in his face. As Vegito, near emotionless, would just nonchalantly respond. That was a good one. But if these chains 
couldn't hold Kazuya. Just what makes you think they would hold me? <laughs> As instantly, Vegeta would then clasp his hands onto the chains wrapping all around his body and... FOOL! With complete ease, like ripping off a mere band-aid, Vegito would pull apart the supposed unbreakable chains of the past. <laughs> there's... there's no way! He hasn't even transformed into anything! <laughs> I hate you, mortals! And seemingly resorting to his final hope now, now that everything else had failed, Black would just rush forward in a tantrum, hoping to do at least something in revenge to Vegito. <laughs> Stay down! <laughs> but with insane disrespect and insane speed, just as Black would get close, a whip-like smack would crack right onto his cheek, sending his trajectory to the side instantly as Vegito's position would remain steadfast. <laughs> With that attack alone, the impact would be so intense as soon as Black's body would hit the ground, he would already not only be back in base, but unconscious too. As the God Killer, seemingly already done, would then raise his foot and place it on Black's back. Looking down now and then callously yelling, uh, And this right here is the reason you never get seen! Weakling! As stamping down hard into Goku Black's body, his figure would immediately begin to transform into a pink boo-like goo, completely changing eventually as it would rise up and begin assimilating with Vegito through his leg. Finally, back in your cage! As Vegito, experiencing now a minor power boost, would just stand upright as the last remnants of Black would join him. But as Vegito would now complete his absorption, behind him, a pair of feet would land. These feet revealed soon enough to be Gogeta, who now stands back in base form, albeit with some caution on his face, as he would address Vegito saying, uh, Yo! I don't know what's going on with you. I guess absorbing these demons takes its toll on you. But I'm not looking to fight. I'm on your side. <laughs> but Vegito, turning behind, would just laugh, replying, You don't want to fight? Who told you that was your choice? Friend. Come on, you have that shiny new form of yours, along with everybody non-demonic that I once absorbed. You telling me I won't get a chance to see how I compare? <coughs> I mean, well if you're asking nicely, I guess I don't mind leaving a half-scared Gogeta to then force himself to comply before... <laughs> Turning up the heat, that Gogeta would immediately transform into his stardust form, coated completely in white, contrasting to Vegito's darkness. He would immediately then get into fighting stance and now confidently let out... Like you said, I've got a whole bunch of other people inside me you don't. So don't feel too bad if you can't keep up, okay? <laughs> but just as this would be said, 
his voice would just as quickly be cut short, slowly looking down as his body would tremble until... Uh, how? In just that instant, Vegito would have already closed the gap and immediately launched a devastating punch right into Gogeta's gut. One with so much concentrated power, it wouldn't send the Saiyan flying, but instead, trapped as the God Killer's arms would be lodged in his flesh. <coughs> This all-encompassing strength becoming all the more apparent as Gogeta, unlike with Kazuya, would then immediately return to base by force, falling onto Vegito's shoulders unconscious, with his body already beginning to melt back to a goo texture. Eventually collapsing into the same pink material as Boo, and joining back with the smirking Vegito who would grunt, Stardust Gogeta, huh? Impressive before, but already worthless. As now standing all alone on the battlefield once more, the lone warrior would then fold his arms and add, Worthless, but that positive energy within you is what is needed in me to keep these demons in check. Only now do I feel myself again. Let's just hope I don't need to lose myself to the dark side to win again. Hey, Lucifer! <laughs> and with those words uttered, he would swiftly then raise a finger into the air. And beneath him, in control of the sector, as the new Demon Emperor of Sector 2, a black portal would open, allowing the Saiyan to then swiftly fall down to the final sector of the Demon Realm. But as Vegito would leave, our scenery would change as well, now within a dense forest of trees. <laughs> you two really needed this break, huh? This is what Earthlings call fun? as we would then see a relaxed Bardock, blindfold on and smiling away as it would seem he was watching the two younger Saiyans. Haha, <laughs> of course this is fun, Gramps. We used to play this all the time at Mum's. As soon, we would then see Goten with his hands in the air and Trunks smiling just as brightly, having just struck something upward saying, Goten, focus on the game! You hit that last one way too hard! To which Goten would cheekily reply, Oops, sorry, I promise. I'll concentrate this time, Trunks. <laughs> I know that look. Go on, Goten! As Bardock, somehow recognizing exactly what his grandson was planning, would just grin wider and wider. All right, here goes! Meanwhile, Trunks, none the wiser, would serve the ball again. <laughs> Leaving Goten to jump into the air and... Uh, <laughs> with clear force, would then strike the ball right down at Trunks. <laughs> Sending the ball to not just go down to win a point, but shoot past Trunks like a train. Goten! I just told you! <laughs> sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to, I promise. Leading to a comedic scene of the young Trunks angrily yelling, and the young Goten apologizing fretfully. <laughs> I'll get the ball this time, but you're next. But forgiving him easily as expected, Trunks would then fly off deeper into the woods. Traveling right through in search of the ball, eventually Trunks would look around thinking, where is it? Goten's such an idiot, we might have lost it. Huh? Over there! 
but soon enough, out the corner of his eye, he'd see where it was. And there, the ball would be, right next to a strange, dark tree stump within the bushes. And so Trunks would get closer, inching forward. But as he would almost reach it, he would sense something uneasy, saying, Wait a second, why is it so cold here? <gasps> Until finally, Trunks would begin looking up and see what could quite possibly be his final sight. Hello, Spawn of the God Killer. As standing right before him now menacingly would be the Royal Guard of Lucif. Complete overkill for the young Saiyan but here for his life nonetheless. A brutal, horrific chapter is about to come, but will Bardock, will Goku, will Vegeta be able to do anything about it? Find out in the next exciting episode of UV. But that was it for today's video guys and if you made it this far, leave me a hashtag Vegeta in the comments down below and let me know just what Vegeta will do when he finds out about his father and possibly about his son too. Or just find out right now on my Patreon where you can see the full Next video, fully voice acted, soundtracked, and edited for you to enjoy with over 4,700 other fans, as well as getting access to 250 plus other fan mongers too. It's the deal of the century.